I'm Evie. I'm a television presenter and fashion stylist, which I absolutely love to do. What I really enjoy though, is to inspire and show ladies of all ages, shapes and sizes, how to wear their clothes and how to enjoy wearing them. And what I'm going to be showing to you is pieces that we already have in our wardrobe, how to revitalize them. Because one of the biggest sentences that I hear from ladies is, I have nothing to wear, including myself, my ad. And actually, if we have a little look inside our wardrobes, there are often so many hidden little gems that I'm gonna help you enjoy and explore and rediscover with style. Good morning and welcome to Shop Your Wardrobe with Evie. I am absolutely delighted this morning to be meeting the fabulous Nahid. Nahid, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you, Evie, for the invite. I so needed this today, really, just uh, to get me out of this doom and gloom, really. Yeah, it's been a really testing time for so many of us. And, and today it's going to be all about shopping your own wardrobe, which is really exciting for me to be able to help you have a little look at what there is inside, discover and uncover yeah. maybe some hidden gems and how we're going to be utilising your wardrobe so that it works the best for you in these times, but equally maybe offering some new outfit ideas that perhaps we didn't think about before. Yes, that sounds like a, a great idea. I am very lucky. I have massive wardrobes. Um, they're full to the brim. These are just some of my tops that are summer. And then I've organised my jumpers are all in here and my trousers at the bottom i tend to be wearing a lot of jumpers and i love this sort of zebra print or whatever that is lovely it's a, like it's a soft leopard print isn't it soft leopard yes and then i also have see my bright colors i love seeing color and i love seeing print and you do take color well yeah. <laughs> love that Absolutely love that. And also we were talking about for you, you quite like to have more of a fitted trouser. Yes. But you don't want to have anything gripping around the tummy for your tops. No. So in terms of the, the silhouettes that I think work well for you is when it's a little bit more fitted across the bust. However, there's yes. more fabric around the tummy and hips. Absolutely. Like this one, which is lovely. I wear this to work sometime and I always wear it at home as well because it's just loose. It's not restrictive here, which is where most of my weight is because I have a lot of excess skin. I told you, didn't I? I lost about five stones. Amazing. And most of that is here. So I have to hold it. <laughs> I have to hold that in. Hence why I'm going to put, I wear these sort of uh, leggings or jeggings from Uniqlo. I have all the colours and I just wear that and then a loose top around the top, which holds me in, basically. Yeah. I have to say Spanx do an amazing selection of sort of smoothing, not sort of sucking in like a sausage, but right. smoothing, yeah, smoothing bottoms. Yeah, let's have a little look <laughs> at outfit number one. Let's see how, how is that working for you? It feels really nice and comfortable. It's not restrictive. It's nice. It's not pushing anything or pulling anything. So I just feel quite comfortable here. And I uh, love the fact that you've also brought in, probably unwittingly, the sleeve detail. Because, you know, the sleeves have been quite a big feature from yes. winter 20, more like a balloon shape or sleeve yes. detail. But what I think is so great here is you've covered the upper arm, which is Sometimes, yeah, a bit of an icky area for a lot of us. I'm always considering my upper arms. <laughs> and it's a really lovely neckline because it's sort of boat neckline. It is, yes, a boat neck. So you, you could, um, you don't really need to have much jewellery. I mean, I've, I've put my chain in, but you could leave it out. It's just very, I'm very simple. I don't like anything big. Um, yeah. You know, so that for me is quite... I haven't thought about putting it together with this. <laughs> yeah, I, I love lime next to indigo. Um, mm. I think it's fabulous. And then what would you be putting for your footwear? So I've, I've actually got boots at the moment, these black ones, which I live in at the moment because they're ankle boots. Lovely. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, perfect. And do they just sit underneath the leg? 
Uh, yes, yeah, so I've actually pushed my uh, leggings inside, but I would actually be wearing them perhaps if I was going out, having the leggings outside. Yeah, I love it. I think that's a really lovely smart look. Yeah. So if you've got any more deliveries coming through today, as you, <laughs> as you open the door, you'll be looking very sort of punchy and vibrant. Yes, true. No, this is really nice. Uh, and you could dress this up, you know, you could still wear that in the summer, couldn't you? Because I always you think couldn't. summer no come out of your leggings. No, I think that's lovely because all we would do in the summer is change it up for a pair of maybe cropped white jeans. Exactly. Yeah. And then add on a little pair of like espadrille wedge sandals and all of a sudden you've got an outfit ready to take you off to go for lunch or a barbecue. That's what I like. So Excellent. That, that's great. Thank you, Evie. Let's have a look at outfit number two. Okay, so we're going to see now that gorgeous soft leopard print top, which I'm really loving. I think it's because it's the tones. The tones are more of a soft grey, aren't they? They are soft grey with uh, sort of gold in there, flecks of gold and browns, sort of talk colour. Nice. That softens. When you have a fleck yes. of gold, it's quite yes. soft next to the grey. Love that. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and actually, uh, we're going to see it, I think, with a pair of your charcoal trousers, but also, I think, to bear in mind, I'd love to see that with more of a winter white trouser, maybe in a fine cord. That's something that we can maybe look at finding afterwards or yes. suggestions of. And then I would ground that back with a metallic pump. Right. Okay. So you're going to pick up a little bit of that sort of goldy metallic. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then what, you, what you've got at home is sort of that sort of comfortable but luxe look in everything that you want that sounds that sounds great i hadn't thought about i don't even wear the pumps um because i'm quite short five foot two i tend to and but then i can't wear heels i have really bad arthritis in my ankles so i tend to be flat anyway but i never thought of getting pumps that have got a, a little bit yeah. yeah, well, I think that's quite important. What we'll do is we'll have a look at something afterwards. Um, more of a wedge platform, a little bit of height, just a yes. little bit, um, yes. a lace up, but something yeah. that will take you trans seasonally in between seasons. But yeah. when you have metallic on your feet, it's a great neutral. And right. I always love to pick up accents of the color of the top and ground yeah. it back down with your right. accessories and obviously you don't need accessories as much at the minute because you're at home no. you do that yes. With yes absolutely so let's have a little look at the luscious leopard print outfit for number two wow so See, what this, do you think about this this feels really comfy um because my trousers are stretchy and uh so they they really go with me as I'm stretching or sitting or standing and they don't leave any crease marks. Yes. They just cover my uh, tummy. They hold it in actually, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually surprised they're fitting me because I thought I'd put on some weight over the last eight months. I haven't done any exercise. So, mm -hmm. but no, they seem to fit. They, they're all fine. And um, what's your footwear? Again, I've got my boots here but in this in the summer if I wasn't wearing this and I was wearing another top with this I'd probably go flats or yeah. spectacles. So for me what I would I what I'd love to suggest um, and yeah. obviously we will be popping links in later on at the end of the episode to share with you and also to our viewers too I would like to see you in a pair of hot pink trousers. <laughs> I would because I love putting leopard print next to something quite vibrant. Now right. that might sound a bit wacky and out there, but you've got a few options. We could either go, if it's sort of for now and you want to have something a little bit stylized, I would yeah. look at velvet, like a velvet smarter, like I would say veering onto a legging type trouser. Yeah but not yeah. in a weighty fabric because velvet's come on heaps and bounds yeah. now. It's a nice lightweight velvet, which is yes. stretchy, so you'll be comfortable. Yeah. And then okay. I would like to ground that back down to uh, more of a metallic trainer. Yeah. So that type of look. Or utilizing the color of the trousers, we yes. swap the top out and have a lovely white shirt, mm. right, which will be quite nice and brightening with the plum, shade of trouser and then we could also ground that down with your metallic trainer sounds good 
So oh. we're thinking about implementing some capsule pieces, but that's a lovely yeah. outfit, but I also want you to have versatility of both those separates because the whole oh. idea of shopping your wardrobe is making it work for you. So yeah. just by adding in maybe three or four pieces, we're going to yeah. stretch out the options of your separates that you've got on to make them right. work longer throughout the year. Sure. That sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, I can actually still um, wear this around the house because it's quite comfortable, but I could wear this to the office when I go to work when yeah. I'm not in the And also hopping onto a Zoom, what's great is you've got leopard print. Print is, is very it's so disguising as well and yeah. you don't have to have a lot of jewellery on because the eyes no. draw all around the print yes yes it does yeah that's true Lovely. okay and, and actually just to add in here if you were zipping off out again later on as we you know get into different times of the year pop a nice yeah. little cropped biker jacket on top yes. and make it quite sort of youthful and add in that type of element as well so maybe if you're off out with your grandson, little yes, biker yes. jacket, a crossbody bag, and off you go. Oh, oh sounds, sounds lovely. Thanks for that idea, who thought of it? <laughs> lovely, <laughs> let's have a look at outfit number three. Okay. okay. This is now outfit number three that we're having a little yeah. look at. And I can't wait to see this one because this is a little bit unexpected, I think. Yes, uh, I, I love this jumper. I saw it in the shop in, in Italy when I was and I thought I have to have it. I didn't even try it on. I just bought it. <laughs> um, and I've never worn it. And I just felt something had to be, you know, had to have something underneath. But I didn't really want to wear a camisole because again, that would show my bulges. But this, I, I have this to isn't say, bad. That looks lovely because uh, leave it as it is. I think let it sit as it is. It's an edge to edge, so it yeah. means you've got no buttons, you've got no zips. No. No. I no. love mixing textures. So when we talk about mixed media, often stylists talk about mixed media, and you think, oh my goodness, what is mixed media? Yeah. You've showed it beautifully because you've got a lovely textured cardigan, and then you've got yeah. the floatiness and almost looks like a chiffon piece, like an overlay it, it, chiffon. Yes, it and is. I yes. I think that's a really stylish look. I think you know what you could easily use that top as well for the evening and add on like a pair of heels and yeah. more more like a fitted blazer as well yeah. And, yeah. and sort of have a, a, like a like a long blazer because it dips down at the back so you know, going out in the evening that's a nice way of, of having it for the day because i quite like to see the high low but if you want to utilize it in the evening you could also have more of a straight cut jacket not yeah. in a weighty fabric, but then it makes yeah. it quite sort of not tuxedo dressing, but it's really like an evening dress. But this is great for now, and, and I'm really pleased that we've sort of had a look at this because I think you will I think you will wear it a lot. And what I would like to say is when you find an outfit that you feel good in, take yes. a picture of it. And right. I, there's a reason why, because sometimes if you can't remember everything that you've put together. If you've got a, that sort of storage of your photos, yeah. you can just go back to that at any time and just replicate that whole outfit. That's a good idea, yes. That's, yeah. That's very good. Yeah. yeah and then what you can do is just interject a piece of colour because it's, it's sort of, it's, you've got the textures there that are quite muted. Yes. But if you, if you wanted to, I'm tempted to say I quite fancy something quite bright in there. Yes, yes, you could do. Um, you, could, you could try, like some, like a long line necklace that could be a little bit bright or a statement. Um, yeah. or, or even, I tell you what, have it for your earrings because you've got lovely short hair and, and that way you can yeah, sort of bring it in. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I've got a few pink, maybe. Yeah, or orange, like, like a burnt orange tone would be quite nice. That would work into earthy tones. I can see one right there and I'm just going to grab it. Is yes, okay? please do. Yeah. Let's have a little look. That's what that's the beauty of shopping your your own wardrobe. Ah, oh, I like that. Yeah. So yeah. what we could do is like you you let go of the lower of the lower necklace that you've got on. Yes, that one. Once that's it. off, exactly. And now you yeah. brought that in and it's yeah. granted a little bit of colour, plus it's long line. And one of the trends for 2021 are long line necklaces. 
Right. Uh, again, your eye is drawn down, elongates yeah. the upper body. And so yeah. that's just bringing in something, a little splash of colour. That's, that sounds... And then you get to wear your jewellery, because my jewellery just... We're not wearing yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. So I hope that you found this, you know, a little bit more insightful as to how your own wardrobe can work a little bit more um, differently for you and that you get a little bit more use out of what you've got. But I've also, since I've been talking to you, I've also thought of some, some key foundation pieces that we'll be able to discuss at the end of the session. Brilliant. Sounds good, Evie. Thank you. You're very welcome. So, Nahid, it was really, really lovely to spend some time with you shopping your wardrobe and a few thoughts that came to mind from the different outfits we'll go through and have a little chat about. So, outfit number one, I loved that zesty colour top. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Something that we could do to just change it up a little bit is potentially have either a white shirt, so we can have that as your option next to your indigo trousers, or we go with something really interesting and a contrast colored pair of trousers. So although it's lime green, I know it sounds crazy, but potentially you could have a real color clash and go Ooh. with something vivid like a hot pink, which is totally probably out of the comfort zone of your existing wardrobe, but it can make it quite fun and a little bit sort of controversial, but really bringing color in. Alternatively, just the white shirt will be quite muted, but also a nice way of, of really having that sort of chic, luxe, daytime look, even for when you're at home paired next to indigo trousers, indigo jeans. Right, okay, that sounds lovely. I'll think yeah. about that. Lovely. So then outfit number two, the leopard. I am a forever leopard lady, I love it. This is where the hot pink trousers would look amazing yeah. because yeah. you've got softness of the gray interject like literally just either a hot pink cord or hot pink jean or if that thing that sounds a bit too well winter white mm. always that beautifully with leopard print and because you've got a gold lurex thread yeah. in that yes. top i'd love to see it grounded back down to that sneaker style with a wedge in a metallic because i think that would look quite amazing so the last outfit, the Italian cardigan, I'm always going to be thinking about Italy whenever I see that cardigan on you, which <laughs> I would have also been in that shop quicker than, yeah. Yeah. Know, quicker than singing, you know, cornettos. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think you can have a couple of different options. It's such a lovely colour. I'd like to see maybe a lace camisole vest top in mm. a blush, like a lovely soft blush oh. colour. Yes. Or a pink, like a nice yeah. pink. Alter alternatively, we bring in something a little bit more for the evening. So we lose that cardigan, have more of a longer line blazer type style. So it covers the back. And then you're yeah. going to bring that in with a skinnier cigarette style, seven eighths oh. hand. Yes. The heel. Or we bring in a velvet style trouser, again, quite slim cut, cigarette style pant mm. with that top and mm. the cardigan and mm. maybe a pair of ballerina pumps. Sounds yeah. lovely. Oh. Like patent potentially. So yes. you've got options there. All of the outfits can actually benefit from bright colors when it comes to accessories and mm. jewelry. So we can always leave something quite muted and then yes. if you want to add in, like you have done with a long line necklace, yes. Yes. That in terms of accessories, or your mm. footwear, or mm. um, handbags. Handbags, yeah, absolutely. Sounds great. So we're going to share with you some, some links and some styles and ideas of some capsule pieces that I think you can benefit from. Um, and then that way, all you need to have is a few key pieces yeah. Uh, and that will take you throughout the year. And something that I really recommend, which I have loved, and I'm wearing them a lot, are the two things. First one, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know, a bodysuit. Really smoothing. And then they are much more comfortable than the 80s when we were all like trying to work them out when we were in the ladies' toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, oh. so Honestly, bodysuits are great because they're a great layering piece. But equally, um, Spanx do an amazing apparel collection of smoothing trousers that don't feel restrictive. So they don't feel oh. like 
they don't feel like they're compressing in any way. They're comfortable and smoothing. And, and, and that would be a great foundation piece for, for so many of your tops. And they, they look smart. They're not a legging. They're a smart that, trouser. That would be lovely. Yes. I, I, you know, it would be nice to get some links so that I can have, actually have a look. Um, yeah. Because nowadays you can't even, if you were allowed in the shops, you're not allowed to try anything on. Exactly. So this way, distance yeah. selling, you know, it has got a lot of benefits and, and I'll be mm. able to share some, some pieces to you. And, and even, you know, just with three or four different pieces, I definitely want to get you into some metallic pumps. I think you will love them. Yes. Absolutely love them. Um, and, you know, a few basics and, and you'll be good to go because you've got everything that you really need. It's yeah. just, I think we can all get stuck in a rut of, oh, well, this top will go with this yeah. pair of trousers. And actually... Yeah. Um, we have to let our wardrobes work a little bit harder for us. I think so, yeah. And, and I think we can create a lot more looks just by literally having another pair of eyes. Yes. Uh, how, have you, how have you felt this to be beneficial for you? No, definitely. I wouldn't have put some stuff together like you have. Uh, I wouldn't have put the indigo with the, the zesty line. I don't know. I kept thinking, what colour goes with this? You know, I kept thinking in the summer, I, I can only wear white with it. But white would have been too... I think clashy. I, I don't think know. Lovely. Yeah, no, I like white next to Zesty Lime, but I love the indigo as well. I think it really, yeah. they're quite strong colours together. They are, yeah. So no, it's, re it's really great. And, and uh, the leopards, you know, I, I kept thinking I have to have a khaki trousers with it, but no, you're right with uh, the plum. I'd never thought of the plum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, no, I, I definitely have everything I need every time I'm looking online for something else, I think, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop buying anymore. But um, I'm definitely going to try and work some stuff together from my own wardrobe now. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm so happy that you joined us and I'm delighted Thank that you. we were able to shop your wardrobe. Thank you, Evie. Thank you, Nahid. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. I do hope that you've really enjoyed as much as I have this week's session of Shop Your Wardrobe with Evie. And I hope that it's also given you some tips and inspiration that maybe you can implement into your own wardrobes. And if you would like to have your own unique bespoke experience of me shopping your wardrobe, please do contact me on the email link is below. Also find me on Instagram under Evie Amory for weekly fashion tips and inspiration. And please do join my Facebook community, Evie Style Fix, where you'll see lots of different tips, styling tricks, outfit ideas, and also that sort of one-to-one -one connection of a fantastic community of ladies, which I would love for you to join. I look forward to seeing you all very soon on the next session of Shop Your Wardrobe with Evie.